Today I show you how the MetaTrader 5 strategy tester works and how you can do back tests like this one for yourself. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is our MetaTrader 5 platform. And first of all, of course, we need to open the strategy tester. And to do this, we just click on the green icon in the top left corner, or we click on view and click on strategy tester. Okay, so this is our MetaTrader 5 tester. And you can see down here, we have multiple tabs. And the first tab is the overview tab. So here we just have predefined settings to run, for example, a quick single test or a optimization. So the next tab is the settings tab. Here we can make general settings for our backtest, for our optimization. And here, the first setting, you can select your expert advisor you want to use for the test. And to the right, you can even jump straight to the source code of the expert advisor. Top right corner, you can save all your settings or load um, previous settings. Okay, then the next line, you can select a symbol for your test and also a time frame. And here you get just more information about the currently selected symbol. So the next line is for the testing period. If you want to use a custom period, you have to set a start and a end date, but you can also use the entire history or the other options, but I always go with a custom period. And the next line is for a forward test. You don't really need the setting because it's for a optimization. It's basically a out of sample test. So you can divide your data into two data sets and the first half would be used for the optimization and the second half for a single back test. Next, you can set a delay for your trade execution in milliseconds. And this is basically to simulate slippage in the real market. I don't really use this setting because I only trade bar open ticks. Okay, so next to the right, we have even more tester settings. Here you can set a specific commission or limit the number of orders or positions. And you can even set a specific margin call level or stop out level. I would just leave these settings here as default. But if you want to use a custom symbol, like I will show you in one of the next videos, you need to set a specific commission. And the next line, you can set a modeling mode. So which ticks are used for your backtest. So here you have different options, like every tick. Then the MetaTrader tester will simulate ticks between your open, high, low, and close of your bar. Then of course you can use every tick based on real ticks. Then of course you have to import real tick data into MetaTrader. You can use one minute open, high, low, and close. So this will use the open, high, low, and close tick of the one minute bar, even if you are in a higher time frame, like the five minute or 15 minute. Then the next option is my preferred option. It's the open price only mode. Then the tester will only use the open tick of each bar for the back test. And this is easy to control also in live market. So the back test environment and the live market are pretty much the same. But of course you need a expert advisor that only processes the open ticks of a bar. Okay, and the last option does not really use history data. It's just for uh, functions. So you don't need that if you want to do a, a single back test or a optimization. And by the way, if you want to read more about a specific setting, there is also a good um, documentation from MetaQuotes. I will put a link into the description, but here you can also read about each setting of the strategy tester. Okay, and the last settings, you can set your account size, your currency, your leverage. And here you can select if you want to do a optimization or a single back test, then you just disable this option. And here on the right side, you can select if you want to do a visual test with a chart and other trades or just a single back test without a chart. We will do both in the end of this video. Okay, so that's it for the settings tab. You can pretty much do all the settings here for your back test, for your optimization. And let's go to the next tab, the input tab.
Here you can just see all the input of your expert advisor, of your trading robot, which you have selected here. So you can try different settings for your test. Okay, then the next tab is the optimization result. We won't do a optimization in this video, so this tab is not relevant for us right now. So the next step is the agents tab. And here you can see just the different cores of your processor. And you can disable or activate a specific cores um, that will be used for the testing. Okay, and the last tab is the journal tab. Here the expert advisor can print out messages or errors or warnings during testing. If something is wrong, it's always a good advice to look at the journal tab first. Okay, so let's go back to the settings tab. And now we will do all the settings to start a simple backtest in MetaTrader 5. Okay, so we will do a single backtest. So let's pick our expert advisor. I will choose the master AA, my own expert advisor, but of course you can use any other expert advisor or a expert advisor you have downloaded from the web. And for the symbol, I will pick the British pound Canadian dollar and I will also choose the five minute time frame. And let's say we want to do a custom period um, starting in 2015 up to today. Okay, and we don't want a forward test. We don't need a delay. And for the modeling mode, I pick open price only. Okay, and we want to disable the optimization because we want to do a single back test. And we want to do a visual test first because we just want to see whether the strategy is working as we intended. Okay, so that's it for the settings tab. Let's switch to the input tab. Okay, so here you do all the settings for your strategy you want to test. This, of course, looks different, as I already said, if you use another expert advisor. I have already done all my settings for the strategy I want to test. So after that, we can just press start and the visual tester opens up in a new window. Okay, so let me just pause. And now we can see each trade of the strategy. And depending on your expert advisor, you also see the indicators you, you are using. Um, and in my case, I see the visual panel of the master EA. Okay, so let's press play again. Here we can see a short trade. So we sold up here and we closed the position here. So that was a perfect trade. And down here, you also see the open positions here, just like in the live market. Okay, now we can close this window again because the visual test, of course, takes um, much longer than a simple back test without the visual mode. So we go back to the settings tab, um, uncheck the visual mode and press start again. And now we can switch to the graph tab and see the equity of the strategy. So if the back test is done, we have two uh, new tabs down here. One is the graph tab, which just shows the equity of the strategy. So we can see the performance over time. And the other one is the backtest result. So here we can see just some metrics about the result. So the net profit, for example, the profit factor, and we will also get some beautiful graphs. Okay, now you can backtest your own strategies in the MetaTrader 5 strategy tester. If this video is helpful, just leave a like. And if you have a question about automated trading, just write a comment. And if you don't have a EA yet, I have already made a video in which I showed you how to code your first expert advisor. I will link it up here. And in one of the next videos, I will show you how to use a custom symbol for the backtest and also how to use the optimization tool. Okay, so I will see you in the next video. Bye. It's fucking hot.